one of the top college coaches had mentioned that he thinks that if a player wants to transfer, he for sure has to sit out a year. Um, mm-hmm. Coaches don't have to. What's your stance on that? It doesn't really matter either way for me. I think this kind of what's gotten lost in everything, and this is why I hate when people start to compare, because as you're, at, as you're asking me questions, you know, I would say the questions that you ask are coming from, from the perspective of what you've seen since, you, since you've been watching sports and how you've seen it grow. So my thing would be, since I'm 46 years old, like, it, it really didn't, that really didn't bother, that really didn't bother me, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? But now, because it's changed, it, and rightfully so, now this has become a topic of conversation. Like it used to be, you know, you just, you transfer, you sit out, nobody made a big deal about the coach. But what I would say is, is I'm not against it. If, if a guy transfers, you know, he, and he can transfer right away and play somewhere right away, then just go on ahead and do it. I think that, I think that if the coach not using them, he not using them. But if you transfer because you played 25 minutes and you just didn't get off, that's on you. I don't feel like he should play. Mm-hmm. So it should be some kind of common ground there. To me, this is what I don't understand. I'd be looking at these dudes transferring from schools, and I'm like, you average like 20 points somewhere, and you left this school to go average six? Like, I don't get it. Like, I just, like, I don't get it. If you are good enough, they will find you. It's I mean, look fast. At Steph went to school. Look at where Dame went to school. I mean, these aren't top schools like a Duke, Kansas, yeah. or Kentucky. There's this illusion that you got to do or go to this school to get what you want, when in reality, no, you don't got to go there. Don't get fooled. Don't get pump faked by the practice facilities, by this and by that and all that. Like, where do you fit in all that? That should be your first question. Where do I fit in all of this? Second question is, will I have an opportunity to get on the floor if I work hard? Not, am I going to get on the floor? No, if you work hard, you, you had an opportunity. That's all you should be worried about. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so, you know, I don't have no problem with it. I'm, I'm good with it personally. Like, I'm, I'm good with it. I've had... I've had a starter transfer. I've had two starters transfer, so I've seen it. I've seen it different. One starter transfer, he grad transfer here, and went to Oklahoma, but I was good with that. Like, that don't bother me. Like, we still good. We talk. We talk a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm good with it just because it's just a part of the game. Like, I don't, I don't have no problem with it. I've never been, since I've got into coaching, even as an assistant, I'm, I'm not the sourpuss coach to be mad at a dude because he chose the other school or all that. Man, that's, uh, I don't have no time for that. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's, 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 that's, that's too much energy wasted on something that, that that was his decision. Best of luck. I feel the same way about you. I'm not mad because you went to the other spot. You know what I mean? So, you know, I guess if I did have a vote and I did have to vote on, I probably would just say, go on ahead and transfer. I'm, I'm good with that. Mm-hmm. No, you've always seemed like a guy that's just kind of open to whatever the player – I mean, you're an advocate of a player because you you played. So you understand that, like, you know, when you were coming up and you were deciding on the schools that you wanted to go to, you wanted to be able to decide for you. 